Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Flowmotion. Because today I'm going to show you how you can create this with a really cool tool called Stable Diffusion. So, just follow me into After Effects. Nowadays everyone is talking about it. AI, Stable Diffusion, but what is that? How does it work and how to incorporate it into our After Effects workflow? I will try to make it as easy to understand as possible. Because this is super complex and super advanced. So what is it? It is a tool that can create images based on text and based on other images. Be aware, this is an artificial intelligence. So if you are afraid of something like this, you should probably end watching right now. And as you see here, we want to use it to create an artistic version of me or whatever it is that you want to recreate. Almost like a filter for our video. We will start by creating a picture first and then create an image sequence also known as video. 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 I'm not covering the installation process because there's a lot of tutorials out there and this is just following a few easy steps. Well, at the moment, Stable Diffusion is somehow a program that exists out of three different components. First, the code. And think of this as something like uh, the matrix code. And honestly, no one of us understands that. So we need second, something to convert it from this code well, into something that we can then work with, which means an interface, something with buttons and sliders. But we also need our filter that we want to apply. And those are called checkpoints. So in a nutshell, if you want everything to look like a comic, you need a comic checkpoint. And if you want it to look like in the Spider-Verse, well, you need a Spider-Verse checkpoint. So a checkpoint is some data that was trained with hundreds of images so it can mimic that specific style. But first, let's also prepare our image that we want to use. I have recorded the intro and with the roto brush I have isolated myself so Stable Diffusion has only me and nothing else to worry about later on. Oh yeah, and I added a green background so that I can later simply key it out and have my comic version as a pre-keyed element. Now I have rendered that out as an image sequence. So now we can work with the first image and once we like the result, we tell Stable Diffusion to do the exact same with all of the missing images. Easy. Okay, our code is running and we have opened up the interface. So when we now take a first look at this, this indeed looks very complicated. Hey, the video title says beginner tutorial. Hmm. So to make it as easy as possible for you, let's quickly get rid of everything here with the power of editing. So we can only focus on what we really need. And voila, here we go. On the top we have our checkpoints to choose from, depending on the ones you have downloaded. And I will go with the Spider-Verse here. And in the next line I choose image to image. Well, because I want to create an image out of another image. Okay, up next are two prompt fields. Here you can type in what you want to see in your image and what you don't want to see. Of course I type in Spider-Verse style. And I also type in stuff like Man with black shirt, curly hair, green eyes, so Stable Diffusion has something to work with. And in some of my tests it got confused with my beard. So in the video I had a beard and moustache in one frame and in the next it wasn't there anymore. So that is something to write in the negative prompt. I type in moustache and it is gone forever. Below that there are two preview boxes left the input so I click in here and can choose my first image and on the right side I will see the generated images once I have clicked on generate. Now there are only two sliders to work with. So what do they do? Hmm. CFG scale defines how much of our prompt will go into the image. So if I leave it at a minimum no Spider-Verse style will go into this and at a maximum it will try to force as much Spider-Verse into this as possible. Denoising strength. That does somehow the same. But this tells us not how much input from the top section it applies, but how much it takes from the original image. So maybe it's best to see some examples. I keep that super low, so it will take a big amount of the input image and bring up the CFG scale a bit. 
You see, it looks still a lot like me, but with some Spider-Verse style. And when I bring both of this up, you see it looks more like the Spider-Verse and less like me. And when I keep the denoising somehow low and the scale around the middle, we can still see me in the final result, but it really starts to look like in the Spider-Verse. So this is just now trial and error. We still have one setting left, the seed. So think about the seed as an artist. So I give my input image together with the description what I want and what I don't want to an artist and he draws the image. But the next time I click on generate, I give the same information to a different seed, so a different artist. So it will always look a bit different even though it uses the same settings. Once I like the style of an artist, I can simply click on the recycle button. So I get a unique seed, basically the idea of the artist so to say, and the image will be super consistent which will help a lot if we create an image sequence later on. Now, simply go to the batch process. The values are exactly the same here, and instead of choosing a picture, you can specify the folder where your image are, and also choose an output directory where you want to save your images. And now simply click on Generate and wait. <laughs> So once done, you can import them into After Effects. Click on the first image and enable sequence. Hey, and also make sure to set them to the same frame rate as your source video. And you can do that by clicking on the image sequence and choose Interpret Footage. Remove the green with the key light effect and call yourself a master of artificial intelligence. Hey, and I'm super curious to see your results, prompts and ideas, because remember, the AI just as good as your imagination. Maybe. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun in a crazy new world. Hey, and if you wait five more seconds, you will see what AI does to my outro.